to start? Yeah. Okay. Hey friends, long time no see. This is going to be our birth vlog, the start of our birth vlog for baby number five. As soon as we can get this labor going and show you how it turns out. So we've had a few days of early labor and it's been frustrating. Right now we're in a beautiful place trying to just relax and calm and I'm having contractions. So we'll see where that goes. I'm so excited. You got like <laughs> Don't mind that. I just spilled my food on my shirt. <laughs> it's really weird to like I know this is our fifth one, but I can never remember like what we did or during the labor with as uh, with Reina with Dale. That's why we have the vlogs though. I remember because I watched them recently. Really? Yeah. It's fun to see what you were doing just before you had your baby, so mm. that's why we decided to start vlogging right now. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see we're having a great date. Mm -hmm. Grandma came to town today. She's with the kids, so. Yep. I'm happy. I'm ready. Past my due date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday was Laura's due date and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm so ready. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Hopefully tonight. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> so it's the next day. We are right outside the hospital. Um, Laura has had a lot of uh, contraction during the night and it's pretty strong. It's hard to see Laura going through all of these things. I know it's very uncomfortable, but this is part of it, I guess. Unfortunately, we could not get the contractions to come back, so I was given two options, start interventions or get dressed and go home. And at this point, I chose to get dressed and go home. Well, after a long night of more contractions and actually a lot of pain, we decided to head to the hospital about 7 a.m. and everything stopped again. So we didn't go in, we got breakfast, we walked, and then we went to my doula's house. Got a chiropractor adjustment, and she gave me a foot rub, and we talked about our options. And we decided we're going to the hospital. And we'll do what it takes to get this baby out. It's time. Yes, it is so time. We're ready. Day three. <laughs> Excited? Yeah, our nurse is amazing. It makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. Nurse that supports you and is so sweet. So, three centimeters dilated, if anybody wants to know. After two <laughs> days of labor, three centimeters. But um, things are good. Baby's head's in the right place, and this should go fast and fine. Maybe not fast, but. Fine. <laughs> should go fine. It should be smooth. Yeah. We're going to start Pitocin, which is so against my birth plan, but guys, just trust me, that's where I'm at right now. Um, it's time for some help with my body, so Pitocin, nice and slow, and then go from there and see what happens. Hopefully my body will kick in and get back to it. 
baby's heartbeat is good. Yeah, 142. 47. You can't see it. No? <laughs> there you go. Mama's looking good. Fun, long labor. <laughs> you can do this. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah. You get an art reactor. <laughs> <laughs> this entire experience was so unexpected. Just my birth plan had changed so much. But when I finally did decide it was time to get some intervention and I was happy with it and I felt it was needed. Then they were quick to admit me and get me started and I just was trying to relax and let the medicine kick in and start and luckily it it got things going right away because my body was so ready. How are you feeling? Good. Contractions have started and I can't believe that I get to drink soda while I'm in labor but our nurse is really sweet and gave me soda. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just sip a little bit. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and relax and get my mind set for this and then I'll get up and dance and sit on the ball and all the things. So what are you what are all those? So this is the medicine that's gonna make me have contractions again and um and it's on the lowest dose right now because we probably don't need a lot because my body was already trying to do this, so it'll work. It's gonna work. It's gonna be great. John was such an amazing support to me. He always is. And our fifth time around was just so great. He knew exactly what to do to help me and comfort me and love me. And that made a world of difference for this experience. Even though it was different than I, I wanted, we still had so much fun. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he was against me. This is the first time that I've ever experienced Pitocin contractions and I've heard about them but I have only experienced what natural contractions feel like and I'm telling you there is a difference. So it was so much more intense to be having these contractions. It did feel a little bit unnatural. Um, they came two minutes apart and lasted about 50 seconds which was actually nice that they were shorter. They are so much more intense and painful but I was able to work through them because they were fairly short. I had a doula this time and she was so amazing. Shout out to Chandis. She was so awesome. I had to cut out the beginning of that video. It's yeah. my, up my nose. <laughs> what color is it? I'm just kidding. What color? <laughs> So after about three hours of those really intense contractions with Pitocin, um, which they only needed to put up the dose, I think once, and my body was really doing it and really getting there. So I decided to get an, an epidural and this is my second time doing that. I had one with my first baby, but I knew that it was going to get really intense and um, and kind of unnaturally intense because of how that medicine works. And so I was scared and I just thought, hey, I can make this decision and be okay with it. I decided to get an epidural. So he came in quickly and did it and did a great job. But I'm so grateful I have no side effects from it. And so I don't need to regret that decision. It was an awesome decision for this birth. And so that's why I'm laying down like this. But I did refuse to put my legs up in stirrups, I refused to get on my back, and that was important to me. So I stayed on my side, and I, uh, you'll see here, I was able to reach down and pull her up myself, and kind of hang on to some of those things that are, were important to me, 
um, even though I was letting go of so much with this unexpected birth plan. This part I feel like I just have to explain a tiny bit of how I'm feeling and I'm blurring it out. Um, it's hard for me to even watch and I just hated this whole experience right here. The nurse is vigorously suctioning out her throat and her mouth and rubbing her so hard she can't catch her breath. It was so infuriating to me but I was in shock. I, I just thought oh surely something's wrong if she's acting like this so frantic. Um, but then looking back, I can obviously see um, this was not needed. It was so hard for me to edit this, so hard for me to see. I just had to let you know that this was something I, you know, gave up by not having a home birth. I, I experienced this and I didn't have to, I should have spoke up. So it still makes me sick, um, but we got through it and that was the only bad part of this entire experience. You want to hold her now? No, I'm not. Can I hold her? This big. Yung ilong mo. Can you sing? Can you sing? Can you sing the ba to the baby? No. No. <laughs> No, look at that hair. Can you sing to the baby? No. <laughs> Can you hold? Baby, here, but... Thank you! Can I do that? Yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> 
Every eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yeah. When you were sitting up on, on the couch? Yeah. Oh. Hey! Me! Me! Baby's, mama's ready to go. Baby's ready to go. Mama and Papa's fun drinks. <laughs> well, we did it, guys. We're on our way home. We had our baby. It was so great. Such a good experience. And we're so glad she's here and we get to go home and be with our other kids and just be a happy family. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching our birth vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the takeaway you can get is like sometimes things will go as planned and um, it's really okay. It's okay to just adjust. adjust and make different decisions and we're just so happy with how everything worked out so well even though it's so unexpected and not really our birth plan but we're happy to have Gemma here and she's so healthy and perfect and during the pregnancy we had questions about her heart and if she was going to need heart surgery after she was born and it's just such a miracle she's just perfect and nothing is wrong at all so anyway we're going to go home and rest and enjoy our family we will see you next time bye